everybody, Hunter here, and welcome back to another episode of our Stardew Valley History Talk Forum, where we talk history and play Stardew Valley all at the same freaking time. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and don't forget, you're going to want to yell at your screen. Oh my. Ooh, okay. Don't have vinegar. Don't have any of that stuff we need to mill. Like, seriously, we don't. I want to cook. I want to start. Oh, actually, I can make this. I could. That's actually going to be amazing. Alright, so today we are playing this. Starting Valley, talking history. Oh, hello. Hi, hon. It's a beautiful day, isn't it? I brought you a gift! It's a sculpture I've been working on just for you. Oh, Leo! That's so sweet! Oh, what the frick is that? Uh, thank you. How do I feel about Hunts? I hope you like it. Well, okay. Okay! Well then, thank you. Thank you. Where are you guys Today is the, what do we call it? Statues? No. There we go. Come right down. Hey, yeah, okay, time's doing nice. Oh, uh, today is the flower festival where we can go dancing with somebody, so that's perfect timing for us to go dancing with her. Hey, we found a dance partner, hopefully. Yay, yeah, Blue Jazz Honey. Uh, let's pick out some of our crops, if anything, so I can grow. I don't think it is. Oh, I one. Oh, I two. Oh, I three. Cool. But yeah, there is that dance today. So, yeah, we get to have some fun with that. I'll make sure everything is ready to go. For you, milk a cow, and I'm going Wow, we're getting a lot of good stuff. The one nice thing though is, since we have that bird work, all of our artisan goods are worth a lot more, these milks will be worth more than what we could ever get in the you know, on. I love you too, Sierra. a lot of money so we, I think tomorrow we're going to get quite a heck of a lot of good stuff aka we're gonna get some sheep. Bah! Sheep is ours. Put that away. Yeah, so we do have a nice little time. Tomorrow and for the four days until the end of the season, I want to just spend all my time. Yeah, we'll go through that in a second. Spend all my time mining and getting our farm ready for the next season. I noticed how this is nice setup. These aren't. I want the upgraded version. I want to make sure all of our we have all these basically. Sprinklers, upgrade sprinklers. So we're gonna spend most of the time doing sprinkling or mining for sprinklers. And mining isn't really that interesting. I mean, I get distracted very easily on my mining. So not much history gets talked. So we're gonna try something very new and I hope you guys do enjoy that discussion. Wait. Where's the fairy dance again? Um. There we go. 
Okay, I wonder why I got I was so freaking confused. I'm like, what the hell is this thing? Yeah, I'm gonna dance with someone. What a wonderful festival this is gonna be. We can make a table of flowers. <gasps> oh, definitely. Buy the red crow. Yay, we got ourselves a red crow. What's up, Leah, since she did the flowers? No, the sculpture. Yay, we have a fan partner. He's gone. All right, guys, ready? Okay, here. All right, let's do this, man. Let's start the flower dance. This is the first time I've ever done this with somebody. Yeah, actually, I don't think I've ever gotten someone ready for the dance. Oh, this is cute. Time to go home. I don't think we danced. Like, what What? The, what do we do in that dance? Oh, that's a cool looking little scarecrow. Mm, you can put it down. So you know. Take you. to be here. I'm happy I came down here. Oh my god. Stop. Thank you. So many copies. 60 coffee beans. Woohoo! Okay, maybe not as many because of uh, things and reasons. The chickens! Chickens need love! Yeah, we definitely need to upgrade the chicken farm too. Greenhouse, how's everything going in this wonderful house? We got our first harvest of strawberries here. That's great. The melons are growing. Those are growing. <gasps> are we just done? Put that away. I don't think I can. Hmm. Oh, we get hay and wheat from wheat. Ah. I forgot about that. Oh god. Hey, 
I literally forgot about that. So we get hay from wheat itself. My inventory, I'll just organize tomorrow. No, I can do it now. That's going well. Yeah. Inventory management. Ooh. Oh boy. Yeah. Just get rid of that. Just, just clean up my inventory. Sell everything. Okay, I got some weed seeds. Good. No time for bed. Yeah, so not much history talk from here. And by the time we get to mine. It's gonna be pure history. Pure history all the way. Ooh. So much money for the cheeses. Like, oh, piggy cough. Oh, wow. Yeah, gold. Such beauty. Such beauty. We're rolling in the money, lovely foxies. Don't forget, if you guys are enjoying this, definitely hit that like and that subscribe. And if you want your own history questions answer, <laughs> let us know in the comments down below so we can definitely talk some more history with all of you. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, once everything dies here, you're gonna definitely utilize all of that good stuff. Just to give, like, best presents to people. Yeah. Who knows, it might get some good presents that way. Seven seeds, that's good. I, I think, we want hey, is summer or fall? Yeah, I want to do this whole thing with That will be my goal. All, you know, all that's gonna be melons. Not sure what that was about. Uh, okay. Cauliflower. That's all gonna be strawberries. And I do like cheese. Cheese, cheese, I do like cheese too. Trees will hold food up for three days, so I don't really need to pick them, I guess. 
I just figured that out. We did. How many? Okay, talk about that. How many wheat seeds do we have? Four. Oh, I'm gonna be wanting a lot more than that. Let's go put this away and then go to mine. So I don't think anything down south will be ready. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. Not sure why I have a coffee bean on there, but okay. I was wrong. Oh, sorry. Oh, hey, good bean. So, as I said, the difference is this is going to be a monologue now. We'll see how much gets put in, like how many days of this. We're definitely going to be doing a few things, so you guys sit back, relax, enjoy this, and enjoy everything else that's going to go on with it. You guys rock so freaking hard. Everybody, Hunts here. Okay, so this is definitely different than what we've ever done before because you're seeing me mining. And I most likely talked before this video or this clip that, yeah, I'm gonna be mining, so most likely all my focus will be on that. And usually that's not good YouTube content. I mean, really, I try and do this history talk farm, and we have mining going on, and I get distracted, both of them. Monsters attacking and trying to kill me to just chop, chop, mine, 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 mining, mining, yay, mining. Hey, if you can guess where that's from, 10,000 points to you. But we do have a history talk farm. This is all about history. Now let's do, or I'm going to use this little section as a talk over voiceover to discuss a history topic that is brought again by the wonderful and amazing pink wave gamer and if you guys and gals and foxies and all furries of all types and ages and colors and whatever you want whatever um leave a comment down below tell me what type of history you want to know about this one covers a unique topic recovery mount rushmore yes the giant u.s monument that has four united states presidents plastered in massive quantities on a giant single boulder yeah odd right i mean for the united states monuments that is just so as america as you can get but did you know that the designer the crafter the builder however you want to call him there's some weird facts about this guy and that is what we're going to cover the sword the dirty the what the heck historical fact you might never know about 
Trust me, I did not even know about this until I worked at the Smithsonian, and this was a story that was told. And I actually had to look back this up. Because, did I get all my facts straight? But, here we go. So, Mount Rushmore. It's this giant 60-foot visage of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Teddy Roosevelt. One of those is my favorite president. If you can guess which that is, hey, Fox loves to you. It has been over 75 years since its foundation, and its creator was Gutzon Borglum. Gutzon Borglum. Yeah, um, this guy, trust me, you're going to be kind of shocked with what you find out. So, in 1914, Bo Borglum was a sculptor in Connecticut of modest acclaim. He got, he was known as a good, he was a good sculptor. He was decent. What got him to fame and infamy is not Mount Rushmore. No. In 1914, the United Daughters, not the, um, the Daughters of the Revolution or independent Daughters of the Independence. I forget which one that is. That group. No, the United Daughters of the Confederacy. That's right, 1914, the United Daughters of the Confederacy. The C United States Civil War ended in 1918. 18, wow, not 19, 1865. By 1914, the United Daughters of the Confederacy reached out to this gentleman to build a shrine to the South in Atlanta. Yes, they wanted to build a shrine to the Confederacy in Atlanta. Okay. When he first glimpsed this stone that they're thinking about, he says, This is what I've been dreaming about my entire life. And then he went out and sketched the generals Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson to be built as a shrine to the Confederacy in 1914 in Atlanta, Georgia. That's not where it ends. He was a son uh, from Mormons from Idaho. He had no ties to the Confederacy. But Bogum was a white supremacist, or had at least white supremacist leadings. In letters, he wrote about a Mongol horde overrunning Nordic purity of the West. And one said, I would not trust an Indian. Offhand, nine out of 10. Why would not trust a white man, one out of ten. He was an opportunist. He aligned himself with the Ku Klux Klan in torchlight ceremonies in 1915. Now, he didn't join. At least we don't have evidence that he joined. But he was involved with the Klan politics. This is a man that would build the Mount Rushmore. But no, before him, he definitely had a very colorful... And I use that as a pun and as a jab. Colorful history. And around then, so now we're getting to the 1920s. There's infighting the clan and fundraising for the Mo Atlanta monument is disappearing. So around that time, a South Dakotan historian who was behind the entire Mount Rushmore thing, approached Bolgum for the job. And Bolgum was annoyed about his backers not getting pay paid, so he pissed him off and got himself fired in 95, and then he took an axe to all the models he built for the shrine in Atlanta, so no one else could use it. And of course, he got himself run out of Georgia and went to North Carolina. Really? Like, what? And then he, this, he, Bogum gets sandblasted uh, throughout the rest of his career by individuals in Georgia and a lot of, still the Confederate movement, yes. Even after, I mean, even today there's Confederate movements in the United States, which is a very touchy subject and one I don't fully or n will never understand. And Bolgum would say, 
because they were they would just try and continue the stone monument and of course Pokemon was angry about that but here to say and this goes even more back to his colorful lineage every evil man in America refused to build the stone monument in Atlanta and I mean who in the right mind would actually hey this guy would even any Christian. Okay, what? But they got a Jew. Like, that was supposed to be an insult. And this guy is... Yeah. Now, this monument, it was built. And it is... It might still be there, actually, in Georgia, or near Atlanta. In 1972. Yeah. It took a while for them to build it. And as I said, if it's just completed in 1972, 50 years after it was... You know, 60 years after it was commissioned? What the heck? Okay, so, yeah. And then Borgum, at age 60, began building Mount Rushmore in 1927, and he devoted 14 years of his life to the project. He passed away in mid-construction, and then his son oversaw the finishing touches. So, the, yeah, that's, that's the goal of history. I mean, this is not maybe the history of the Mount Rushmore itself. It's more about its creator. But that still is part of the United States history, a history of a great monument that people see all the time, and they don't... I bet, as if you're American watching this, have you ever asked who the creator of Mount Rushmore is? Did you ever look into it? Were you ever taught it? Because I bet you, even if you were, you were not taught his historical back. But thank you guys. Um, we'll get back to our normal programming. I hope you all enjoyed, and... Maybe we'll do, if you like, if you really like this voiceover, we might do more of it in the future. But until then, thanks guys. Later. Let's get back to the show. Okay, what's going on here? Career as a fought, I always have a friend to catch me on the way down. Oh, how sweet! How sweet! That was cute, wasn't it, guys? That was cute.
Okay guys, so I was just gonna get some see if I can get some hardwood from oil. So we're back. Um hope everyone's enjoying. What I also did was just buy those cabbage. And see if I can get the seeds from that. Because it's gonna be a while till we get those. And I'm very curious to see if I can just get the seeds. I don't need to worry about anything. So do you have a seed maker? Oh my god. I'm sorry guys, I'm exhausted. I'm <laughs> on the sleep while playing. Do you ever have that? Do you ever have it? Do you, like, in a game, it's like, okay, I'm doing good. And then you get exhausted and it's like, oh, I'm sleepy. Oh no, I just fell asleep. Like, what? Well, like, in real life, like, I'm doing something, and all of a sudden, am I on? And I'm asleep. And no, I don't have that sleeping, falling asleep situation. No, I just, like, pop out. Because I'm exhausted. Ugh. Oh, thank you for being you. So we got cactus food. And a red cabbage. I wonder if I can... I sh should we be able to get seeds from these? Thinking I really should get some seeds? Oh, by the way. Cut to see if I can get some hay. But, I also got a pretty good haul with iron. Nice haul out there. It worked. It worked. This is gonna be interesting. Cactus and my carrot seeds now. Why not? Okay, let's look at these seeds and then we'll call it for the night. Two cactus seeds can only grow indoors. It takes 12 days to mature and then it produces fruit every three days. Oh. Red cabbage. Three red cabbage seeds. It takes nine days to mature in the summer. Ooh. Let's see. I need clay, stone, and we find quartz. And I can do two cactuses in our house? All right, let's see. Find quartz. And those done, I'm only trying to do more quartz. Oh god, I just forgot. Clay and stone. Okay. Clay, stone. Two done. Yay. Boom, boom. Then you summer. Oh, oil. Maker needs a hard work. Gold and slime. Well, luckily I have so much slime. Gold. Or is it gold bar? Gold bar. Oh? Oh, we got a new achievement! The Artisan! Oh? Got 30 different items. Oh, very nice, guys. We got a new achievement. Sunflower seeds. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm call for night, guys. Hope everyone is enjoying themselves. And if you guys have any questions, definitely leave them down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the sword tear of Mount Rushmore. Cool. Till next time, you lovely foxies.
Don't forget that like and that subscribe. Good night. Peace. Mega Mom. Ooh.